Hello students, in this video lecture, I'm going to discuss a special type of lattice called distributive lattice. So the first question which arises is when is a lattice said to be a distributive lattice? Now, a lattice L is said to be a distributive lattice if distributive law holds in it. And what is distributive law? Distributive law is simply uh, the statement that A meet B join C. This should be equal to A meet B join A meet C. And this should happen for all A, B and C belonging to L. So this is distributive law and it's called distributive because you can see that the meet is distributing over join. That uh, when meet distributes over join, then the first term A gets attached to B and you get A meet B. And then the A gets attached to C and you get A meet C. So and join is as it is in between. So if this uh, happens for all A, B and C belonging to L, then you say that distributive law is satisfied and then the lattice L is said to be a distributive lattice. So uh, a few things uh, which uh, have to be noted in this regard are the first thing that uh, you need to notice that uh, uh, if a lattice L is distributive, which means that if a lattice L is such that the distributive law, which I'm marking as one, is satisfied, then because we are in a lattice and a lattice is a PO set and in a PO set, the principle of duality holds. Therefore, if the statement one is uh, true, if, if one is satisfied, then the dual statement of one is also true. And how is the dual of one obtained? The dual of statement one is obtained by replacing wherever meet is coming, you have to replace it by join and wherever join is coming, you have to replace it by meet. So if, if the statement one is true, then the dual statement of uh, one will also be true, which means that A join B meet C will be equal to A join B meet A join C. And this will happen for all A, B and C belonging to L. This will be satisfied. So uh, this uh, this which I'm marking as two. So this gives me a uh, another alternate definition of uh, a distributive lattice. So we can say now that a lattice L is distributive if either statement one is true or statement two is true because if any one of them uh, is true then the other one automatically becomes true because of the duality principle. So now uh, coming to the second uh, statement, second uh, point which has to be noted. Now the second point which has to be noticed, uh, noted is that uh, if you are given L to be any uh, general lattice, not necessarily distributive, then uh, A meet uh, B join C is always greater than or equal to A meet B join A meet C. And this is always true for all A, B and C belonging to L, whatever may be the lattice L, not necessarily distributive. So this particular inequality, uh, which is uh, one side of um, the statement, this statement, this is distributive law. So one side of statement one is always true, which is this. So if you have to show that a lattice L is distributive, you just have to show the other side of the statement. The other side of the statement is that A uh, meet B join C you have to show is less than or equal to A meet B, join A meet C. And you have to show that this is true for all A, B and C belonging to L. So if a lattice has to be, uh, a lattice L has to be shown distributive, then it would be sufficient to prove only this part. Because uh, this, because the first one, the first part of the inequality is always true. I'm not going to prove it, but one can easily prove using the uh, laws uh, of uh, lattices uh, that uh, the first part is always true. So the only thing you have to prove is this uh, to show that a lattice is distributive. Now we will be coming to a few examples of lattices. A few examples we will be taking uh, of lattices which are distributive and a few examples of lattices which are not distributive. Now coming to the first example, if X is any set, let me consider the power, the, uh, power set lattice which is the uh, power set of X uh, where the, the meet is taken to be the intersection and the join is taken to be the union. So this is very much a lattice we know. Uh, the power set of X uh, where the meet is the intersection and the join is the union which means that uh, A join B is defined as A union B and A meet B is defined as A intersection B uh, where A and B are elements of power set of X. So they are subsets, A and B are subsets of X. So this is very much a lattice. Now this is uh, not only a lattice, but it is more than a lattice. It is a distributive lattice. And why is it 
a distributive lattice because uh, if you uh, just uh, take a look at the distributive law, uh, the distributive law which I've marked as one, this one, the distributive law, if, if you just uh, convert this uh, distributive law in our context here, uh, in our example, the meet, the meet is the intersection and uh, the join, the join is the union. So if you convert the whole thing in this uh, context, then the distributive law in this uh, lattice uh, becomes, this is the form which distributive law, this is the form which law takes that A intersection B union C, this should be equal to A intersection B union A intersection C. And this uh, one can verify by using set theoretic results that this is true for all A, B and C, for all sets A, B and C. So this distributive law is very much uh, satisfied. So this is true for all A, B and C here belonging to the power set of X. So this, since this distributive law is satisfied, so this power set uh, of uh, any set X is a distributive lattice with respect to uh, these two operations where this is your uh, meet and, uh, and this is your join. So this is uh, the first example. The second example is uh, a, a, a consider a chain. Consider uh, 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 something like this. Just consider this example. Uh, a, sm a simple chain I will take. Consider this one. Uh, this one uh, I can take as 0. This one is 1. And this one I am taking as let's say A because this element is uh, the bottommost element. So I am denoting it by 0. And this element is the topmost element. So I am denoting it by 1. And the middle one I am calling as A. So this is a chain of three elements. Now you can verify that uh, if you uh, take uh, for example if I take uh, A uh, meet uh, any two elements. Let's say A meet 0 join 1 if I take uh, then uh, if if this is equal to a meet uh, 0 uh, join a meet 1 if, if these two are equal then uh, and uh, then uh, this is one form of distributive law that would hold and you can take any permutation and combination of elements uh, and uh, if you just consider this one what is uh, this is a meet what is 0 join 1 0 join 1 is the uh, supremum of 0 and 1 or the, the least upper bound of 0 and 1 and it is 1 and uh, what is a meet 1 a meet 1 a meet a meet 1 means the uh, one which is at uh, the bottom uh, of a and 1 so this is a so this is the value of a meet 1 this is the uh, a meet 1 this is the uh, greatest lower bound or the infimum of a n1 and now what is the value of this one a meet uh, 0 a meet 0 is the one which is at the bottom out of a n 0 the bottom element in the hash diagram is 0 join is as it is in between the value of this is 0 I have put it over here and what is the value of a meet 1 the value of a meet 1 a meet 1 means that you are taking the meet of these two elements and the one which is at the bottom is their meet so this is going to be a and now what is going to be the join of 0 and a join of 0 and a means the least upper bound of 0 and a and which is a and you can just see that these two values are equal these two values are equal which means that distributive law holds uh, for this particular uh, combination of elements likewise you can verify that uh, if you put elements in any order there are three elements let's say i'm denoting these three elements by x y z so if you put these uh, three elements in any order then you will you can verify that x meet uh, y join z uh, will be equal to x meet y join x uh, meet z and this would happen for all x y and z belonging to this lattice L, if I'm calling this uh, lattice L, if I'm calling this chain as L. So you can verify for any possible combination of these three elements, this law will always be satisfied, which means the distributive law is satisfied. So this is very much a distributive lattice. So this chain of three elements it is, is a distributive lattice. In fact, uh, by a similar argument, you can show that any chain is a distributive lattice. So all the chains are distributive lattices. So that was the second example of a distributive lattice. Let me take uh, an example in which a lattice fails to be a distributive lattice. So let me consider uh, uh, M3, M3, which is the diamond lattice. This is the diamond lattice, which means that I'm considering uh, uh, M3 means I'm considering the lattice as one direct sum 3 bar, the anti-chain 3 bar, uh, direct sum 1. So 
So this is the lattice which I'm considering, which means that I'm taking direct sum, M3 is direct sum of three uh, U sets. So one, this one, because the hash diagram of M3 is going to be this, because this one is there, so one at the bottom, three bar means anti-chain of three elements, so three bar in the middle. And because of this one, there is one at the top. And now di for direct sum, you draw lines between the elements like this. So this is the diagram for M3. And that is why, because it's, it it's, uh, appears uh, like a diamond lattice, diamond. So that is why the name diamond lattice is given. And now let me just mark these elements, uh, uh, give some names to these elements so that I can refer to them. So this time, the lower one I'm calling as, uh, the bottom most I'm calling as zero. The elements in the middle I'm calling as ACB. And the one which is at the top I'm calling as one because it is at the top. So it is the one of the lattice. Now this is very much a lattice M3 that we know. Uh, but... Uh, let me just consider a uh, uh, join of uh, B meet C. A join B meet C. Here you can see I considered a X meet uh, Y join uh, uh, Z here. I considered this. I considered meet here and I considered join later. Uh, but here I'm taking uh, join first. Here I'm taking join first. I'm taking join here. And I'm taking meet later because you can take any, the distributive law, any form you can take. Either you can take this one or you can take this one. Because if any one of them uh, is true, then the lattice uh, is distributive that we have, that I have discussed in the notes. So this is A join B meet C. Uh, let me find out the value of A join B meet C. Now A join B meet C means... Uh, this is uh, A join is as it is. What is the, uh, what is B meet C? I'm calculating the value of B meet C. B meet C means that I'm finding out the meet of these two elements, B and C, which is the greatest lower bound of B and C. The greatest lower bound of B and C is the common element, which is at the bottom, which is zero. So this is zero. And what is the join of A and zero? The join of A and zero is the element which is at the, uh, which is above A and zero because it's the least upper bound of A and zero. And this is A. So this is the value of uh, A join B meet C. And now let me find out the value of A join B meet A join C. And the value of A join B meet A join C. Now A join B is, uh, what is A join B? A join B means this, this is your A and this is your B. So A join B is the least upper bound of A and B, which is one. So the value of this particular uh, element is one and meet is as it is in between. And what is the value of uh, A uh, join C? A join C is also one. The least upper bound of A and C is one. So this is going to be one. And one meet one is uh, one because by item important law, we are in a lattice. So A meet, so X meet X is equal to X for all X by item order law. And x join x is also equal to x for all x uh, belonging to the lattice. So that we know. So this comes out to be 1 and you can just see they are not equal. They are not equal. So this means that a join b meet c. This is uh, not equal to a join b meet a join c which means uh, that uh, here distributive law is uh, failing to hold which means this is a non-distributive lattice so m3 which is the diamond lattice is a non-distributive lattice and now coming to uh, one uh, last example the fourth example let me consider the pentagon lattice uh, n5 uh, this is the pentagon lattice and the pentagon lattice the has diagram of n5 or the pentagon lattice is this the element uh, at the top then this here, this is the, I'm representing it in the form of a hash diagram. So this is the element up at the top, which I am referring to as one. This is the bottommost element, which is uh, which I am referring to as zero. And let me uh, just give some names to these elements. And now you can just verify that in N5, uh, just verify, find out the value of A join B meet C. This is uh, A join B meet C. B meet C means... Uh, the greatest lower bound of B and C, which is zero, which is the element at the bottom. And uh, what is the least upper bound of A and zero or join of A and zero? Join of A and zero is the element uh, which is uh, at the top of A and zero, which is A. So this is the value of uh, A join B meet C. And now let me find out the value of A join B meet A join C. The value of A join B, the value of A join B, the least upper bound of A and B is one. And what is the value of A? Join C, A join C 
A join C. The value of A join C is the element which is at the top of A and C, which is C. And what is 1 meet C? 1 meet C is the element which is uh, at the bottom of 1 and C, and it is C. So you can just see that these two, these two are not equal, which means that A join B meet C is not equal to A join B meet A join C, which means that distributive law is not satisfied, and therefore this is a non-distributive lattice. So this is an example of a non-distributive lattice. Uh, in fact, uh, 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 M3 and N5, M3 which was the diamond lattice, M3 which is the diamond lattice, which is uh, one a direct sum three bar, direct sum one, which is the diamond lattice and N5 which is the pentagon lattice. Both these lattices are the smallest non-distributive lattices. In fact, there is a general result which I can state without proof and that general result is that if uh, L is a lattice and uh, uh, then uh, the result states that if L is a lattice then L is non-distributive, then L is non-distributive if and only if it contains a sub-lattice, if and only if it contains a sub-lattice isomorphic, isomorphic to the diamond lattice M3 or the pentagon lattice N5. So this is a result which I am stating without proof and this result simply means that if L is a lattice uh, and if uh, the lattice L has M3 or N5 as its part, uh, if these are present in the hash diagram or M3 or N5 are, are a part of it, then the lattice uh, will be non-distributive and if the lattice is non-distributive then M3 or N5 uh, are a part of this lattice L. So that was all about uh, the distributive lattices, the definition and the examples.